In this video I will have a look at some features of Quadlibet. Quadlibet is a GTK based audio player. One thing that is special about it is that it is good in managing a library containing with lots of audio files. This is version 4.5.0. To change the theme of uh, Quadlibet, you may want to have a look at the plugins from the menu at the top. There are a few plugins here installed that come with the basic installation. Yeah, the seam switcher. Enable the seam switcher and there you have a few uh, options. You can play with them. This is an option that I like and I uh, use it. Here at the top uh, you have the player controls and you have the information about the song that will be played. Um, maybe uh, we are missing here um, a progress bar or even a waveform, but you can switch it on with the plugins again. Go here and there is a waveform seek bar plugin activated and there it already appears. You can play around with some of the settings for the waveform seek bar if you wish. What you see below this top player, this is uh, the browser and you can change um, the browser very effectively in this menu browse and you can choose uh, some filters maybe play around with this uh, but the interesting thing here are the browsers that you can choose from as you can see i have chosen the paint browser which is this three section thing here at the top where i can choose between genres artists and albums so if i choose classical music then here um, it is reduced to all the artists in that area and all the albums in that area and so on. If you want to uh, have a different view, you can have, uh, for example, an album list, which is here at the side, the left side. You can have a cover grid. which you may know or recognize from other players, um, if you like. You can change the appearance of the cover grid by clicking on um, the, uh, this um, icon here and choose Preferences. And when you toggle white mode, which I did, then uh, the um, the album view here appears on the left side. And if you put away that toggle, then the um, cover grid will appear at the top. I prefer to have it on the side. Click apply. There it is. All albums again, and there we go. You can play around with this. You can even browse your file system, internet radio, stations by category and so on. Here is the track list of the tracks that are chosen in this above uh, pane view and um, obviously you can choose the headers of the columns here which columns to show in the track list just right click in the title here and there you can toggle the um, columns you want to see. You can add columns that are not shown, file format here for example, copyright or whatever you want. Just go through it. Then uh, below the track list you have the, the queue which you can make visible by clicking on this toggle here at the bottom. You can switch it off, switch it on 
and there you can cue the songs you would like to listen to and you can um, move the cue and its size so let's have a look at the plugins again which you can reach from the file menu click select uh, plugins and i will select those that i have enabled one plugin that you can activate is to change the language to your liking uh, when you have it available on your system you can choose to embed images like uh, here um, this i find quite useful if you um, toggle this uh, plugin then um, only songs that are in the queue will be played uh, not uh, random songs from the track list or something other and finally we should have a look at the preference for quadlibet you can uh, choose how your song list uh, behaves um, and what is uh, important is where your uh, library is where the, where the music files for the library are you can add uh, folders here um, that will be scanned immediately after adding and you can um, check for changes in your library manually as well one more thing that may be helpful if you use this kind of browser where you want to select from different tags um, you can change uh, the tags that are available here from this um, icon here at the, uh, above the paint view and click there go to preferences and there you have the paint browser preferences but uh, I, I, can, I have no use for, for this people thing here which is an aggregate of, uh, of several other texts so what I did I made a custom view here I added uh, one uh, tag that is the tag uh, artist which you can see here and deleted the tag people which I have no use for uh, and so I have these three tags here clicked apply and that's uh, how my view uh, appeared here.